I know that I am not the only one who just saw that new amazing Nerd City video, but there was something that they missed that I wanted to talk about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right? So like, do you apologize for thoughts? Are you supposed to apologize for thoughts? Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little story time. All right, so I was watching the new Nerd City video and whenever I watch anything, I'm always looking at different angles. I'm like, what are we missing? Like, what can we add to this conversation? What can we talk about? And I was like, oh my God, like they, they're totally missing this part of it. I'm like, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna have to, make a criticism of Nerd City. I met him at VidCon, he's such a lovely, lovely dude. He's gonna be mad at me. And then two seconds later, he made me look like a idiot. All right? <laughs> so yeah, like, and I should have had more faith. Like these, these guys, like it's the whole crew and they cover these things, these topics so well. And from all the, uh, different angles. I should have, I should have known better, you know? And I was so nervous about it. I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna have to critique him. And he put me in a video and everything. But anyways, you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. So let's start out with cancel culture, okay? Those of you who know me know I love me some cancel culture, all right? And if you missed it, I got a new book out called Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture. But anyways, what I was gonna point out was when Nerd City was talking about the bad actor scenario, right? And you just go in there and you flag it. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like that is best case scenario. But they brought up another aspect of cancel culture that everybody is missing. There is such a ridiculous debate right now about whether or not cancel culture exists. But Nerd City hit it right on the head. Like we are acting like absolute lunatics. And if we want YouTubers to be treated fairly and get paid, we need to quit attacking advertisers like a bunch of dummies, all right? Because I thought what they were gonna miss was, no, 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 it's not that simple. Because what happens is, is say Disney, right? They have an ad uh, and it goes on a video. I think this actually happened with Fortnite, right? And it, it popped up on some controversial videos. I think this was during like Elsa Gate or something like that. And everybody freaked out, not on YouTube, but on the company. So imagine thousands of angry, hateful people on Twitter saying, oh my God, oh my God, your ad popped up on this awful video covering racism and white supremacy and bigotry and all that stuff. The company freaks out pulls the ad away because we act like a bunch of lunatics, all right? This is why cancel culture is a bad thing, okay? Like the guests that they, they had on there explained it perfectly. Like the content creator isn't picking what ads you see, you pick what ads you see. Like these algorithms, even though they're kind of screwing us, they are monitoring your behavior. So if you see an ad for something, it figured that you would want to see that ad. Now, one thing I will say before moving into the next subject is, it's tricky with LGBTQ content, right? Like I have done, I've done videos on LGBTQ uh, topics and I've had ads pop up that are anti LGBTQ, right? I've done topics on addiction, recovery, right? And then ads will pop up for like alcohol and things like that. So what happens is, is the advertisers pick which audience they wanna see. So for example, an anti-LGBTQ organization is going to target LGBTQ keywords. And that's where this gets kind of tricky. But I think Nerd City 
did a great job discussing like possible solutions. Like you know here at The Rewired Soul, we love some solutions, but I think transparency is a big one. And I think if YouTube worked with the creators more, everybody would be a lot happier. Like they brought up the point, um, I talked about this in my podcast after Susan Wojcicki did her interview with Alfie Days. Like I'm always trying to look at this from YouTube side and everything like that. But the main issue is that they keep saying that they're being more transparent and they're working on transparency and they're not. You know what I mean? Like. It, it blows my mind when creators straight up ask, like the head people of YouTube, like why are videos being demonetized for having words like gay, lesbian, trans, and everything like that? Why are they being automatically demonetized? And what's crazy, I'm, I'm surprised uh, Nerd City didn't point this out, but if you put the two clips together, maybe I'll edit that in right now. Uh, I can just tell you categorically that there is no list of words or keywords or terms or anything like that that is going to go into our classifiers making uh, an a priori decision about whether a video is monetized or not. YouTube CEO was recently interviewed by a YouTuber and she said, We do not automatically demonetize LGBTQ Content. Like they both almost say the exact same thing. So it's like they've been trained to say that exact same thing. I think Nerd City said, you know, this is like something that their lawyers told them to say. And it is, right? But like, we're not stupid. Like, don't just lie to us and say, no, we're not doing that, right? Like, um, in the past, I made a lot of mental health content discussing things like depression, suicide, anxiety, trauma, all these other things. And Nerd City's first video about, you know, their secret code really showed how mental health topics are being suppressed and everything like that. And I think they, they brought up a great point with Coffee Break's video, um, as well as the others, like the, the channels doing history and everything like that. Like, these are things that should be promoted, especially when YouTube advocates for putting education at the top of their list. Like, you know what? Screw it. Let's talk transparency. I was teaching a lot about mental health and what got me in trouble was I started blending it in with drama because here's the thing. When I was doing education, pure education on mental health, it didn't get any views. So me, like I said, I'm always looking at things from different angles. I'm trying to think outside the box. I'm like, okay, maybe I can cover a mental health topic, but I can make it look like a drama video. You see what I mean? Like, it's kind of like what Nerd City is talking about from a different angle. Like if we knew what it was, we can kind of shift the way we use our titles and you know uh, uh, our descriptions and everything like that. I realized a long time ago that YouTube is not promoting mental health education on this platform. So I tried to figure out another way to do that. And it ended up biting me in the ass, even though my channel blew up, pissed a lot of people off, <laughs> all right? But anyways, let's talk about this next subject. The, the group that is trying to, I don't know if it's gonna be unionization or whatever, but trying to go after YouTube. And I'm not a lawyer, but here's the question that I have because I've worked in corporate America and stuff like that. And I'm a YouTube creator. And I realize that I am not an employee of YouTube, all right? YouTube does not owe me the same as a full-time employer would. Okay, so it's very interesting. Like, does it suck what they're doing? Absolutely. So I'm really interested to see where this goes legally because we're not employees of YouTube. And that's where I think the conversation gets really weird when you see YouTube creators discussing this because something I'm always reminding myself of, like I have lost a ton of money on YouTube, but I'm like, mm, oh well, like I'm not their employee. They don't technically owe me anything, right? But, but I understand the argument, like YouTube is using these creators, you know, to promote Pride Month and everything like that. And by the way, the way Nerd City brought up the fact that people moderating the content are from countries that have laws against being in the LGBTQ community, like bravo. Like I had not even thought about that. 
because you may have people with that bias training your algorithm. So to wrap this video up, some of you are like, man, it's been like almost 10 minutes, Chris. What do you mean what Nerd City missed in this video? I have been talking a lot about moral philosophy, moral psychology, and everything like that. And one of the books I just finished reading was The Righteous Mind by Jonathan Haidt. By the way, if you, if you are somebody who enjoys critically thinking and you want your life to improve and not freak out over everything, read all three books from Jonathan Haidt, all right? The Coddling of the American Mind, The Happiness Hypothesis, and the one I just mentioned, The Righteous Mind. I'll link them all down below. But anyways, in The Righteous Mind, it's all, a, it was my introduction into moral philosophy and moral psychology. And I learned a lot about the way liberals and conservatives think, right? And when you understand that, you start to see the bigger picture. So what we see with YouTube is what we see in a lot of businesses, especially in this day and age, and especially businesses from, you know, Cal that are based in California and everything like that. So me, I'm liberal, all right? I am pretty damn liberal, you know? Uh, and I have my certain views. And those of us who are liberal, when you look at our values, I'll toss them up on the screen right here. Something that we're big on is like fairness and equality. Right, this is something that we're huge on. Now, when you look at the moral values of conservatives, it's all kind of spread out. There's not such a, a heavy weight on that fairness and equality, right? So what I've seen, what I've noticed with companies like YouTube is their company culture, what they say and put out there is very liberal, but the way they run their business is very conservative. All right, and I think that's one of the issues with just the way that our country is run in this kind of capitalist society where as liberal as you want to be because of the way that, you know, we, we try to make our money is that when you get into the business end of things, people are much more conservative about it. And I think that's where there's a lot of conflict with morality and that's why you see so many people butting heads and you get so many mixed signals because like I said, you have somebody like Susan Wojcicki out there promoting these kind of liberal views, liberal ideas and everything like that. But like I said, the business is run in a very different way. But anyways, these are the things I've been thinking about lately. Um, make sure you go check out the Nerd City video. Absolutely. Mwah phenomenal it'll be linked down in the description below along with those book recommendations like i said like i i've been noticing this even more lately like youtube is not a community of readers so whatever readers i am reaching out there do yourself a favor and read these books all right like they will broaden the way that you think and i promise that you'll be a better person because of it all right, but anyways, I'll shut up now. That's all I got for this video. Again, sorry to Nerd City and the entire team for not having faith in you, all right? <laughs> anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon and everybody who supports the channel by buying books and merch and all that stuff. Because like Nerd City said, we all getting demonetized up in here, baby. All right, anyways, that's all I got. I'll see you next time.